Today's video, we're going to cover configuring Jasper Server with LDAP in order to set up proper external authentication. And for the sake of our demonstration, we have a sample LDAP server for Jasper to connect to. Now we're going to need to modify the application context external auth LDAP MT.xml file. This file is actually provided in this installation of either the war or of the bundled versions of the install. Now here we have the sample XML file and the first thing we're going to need to do is configure several beans, one of which is the LDAP context source bean. Now you can see that it accepts the URL for your LDAP and it also accepts user credentials in order for Jasper to authenticate and gain access to your LDAP. You can see here that I have the LDAP URL, but I also have the base DN. This is actually something optional you can configure with your LDAP URL, but I find it helpful because it allows you to point directly to at which point in your LDAP hierarchy Jasper should begin searching. The next bean that you want to configure is the user search bean. And this bean is where you would specify the query that will fetch back the user that you are using to log in and verify that the user does indeed exist in your LDAP hierarchy and that the credentials are matched with what you entered in the Jasper server login page. The last bean that you'll want to configure is the LDAP authentication provider bean. And this bean is actually where you configure your role search query. So for LDAP, you typically have many users and they would have various uh, groups or roles to which they belong. And in here, you actually see that you specify the group search filter and you'll actually enter the LDAP query that is going to fetch the roles and also the user which is part of those roles. And this is actually something you can verify whether this works properly or not. If you run this same query in your LDAP client. So for example, if you have uh, Apache Directory Studio, you can paste this query in Apache DS and do a test run of that query to make sure that it fetches not only the roles, but also the user which is associated with those roles. Something additional to consider is whether you have certain groups in your LDAP hierarchy that should be administrators. And if you want to instruct Jasper to designate certain groups as, in, uh, as admin, uh, administrator roles, then what you would do is look for the organization role map property. And this property is where you would specify which role or group would be uh, mapped to role administrator, which is the default internal role in the Jasper repository. And in this example, I created a role, a group I should say, called role underscore admin LDAP. And those users who belong to this role are going to be administrators for this sample, uh, this sample LDAP environment. Now, once you've configured your XML file properly, you're going to want to drop that file into your Jasper Server Pro web application folder, specifically in the web-inf folder, as you can see right here. And once you restart Jasper Server, it will try to connect to your LDAP using the URL and credentials that you specified in the XML file. Now, here we have Apache Directory Studio, which shows you the sample LDAP server that I've created for this demonstration. And there are two groups here one of which is the admin group, which should be users that have the equivalent of 
role administrator. And uh, if I do a quick login here, as one of the users that have a uh, role administrator equivalent privileges, you're going to see that this user here, H. Williams, actually has um, all of the privileges and, uh, and UI access for someone with the equivalent of role administrator. Versus if I log into somebody that has just role user privileges, only a certain subset of the UI and, uh, and the menu options are available to that user with the um, role user equivalent. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.